Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. What an exciting day. So it's an extra video day. I normally come in uh, live to you on Mondays. Today you're joining us here in Frederick, Colorado at Trans West Truck Trailer RV for a great walkthrough on a very exciting product. Uh, this is a 2023 Renegade Verona VRB. So this is a rare unit. When we get them in, they go quick. In fact, this one is sold. So just wanted to say hi to you guys. Thank you so much for allowing us to make this video so we can show people this new beautiful Lakewood interior and the updated gray mist. Okay, my name is Katie O'Neill. You can find me at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. You can tune into us at TTTRV on YouTube or at my channel, RVs Inside Out. Uh, so Jody, as usual, I like to start from the inside out. Please go ahead and take her on back. So one of the really exciting reasons uh, to show you this uh, great coach today is because we've had Spice Brandy interior for so long and it's just so nice to see this Lakewood interior. We also have a treat of showing the new uh, furniture with the new recliner set and it's just a great RV all in all. Um, so this RV will be delivered on Friday but this is a coach that was ordered uh, for a different client and then there was a backup deposit placed on it so please keep in mind that while you're in the market for RVs, if you see something that might say sold on our website, a backup deposit might get you just months ahead. Um, all of that being said, this coach has a ton of storage space here in the rear bath, not only up top, but also down below. You see here, there's a great location to keep all of your washcloths, towels, uh, just a you know toilet paper, whatever it is that you might need uh, you know, in your restroom. Just great extra storage here. As usual, Renegade has the top of the line construction manufactured in Elkhart, Indiana by our fantastic uh, crew. These guys are so proud of the work that they do. Now I want you to know they've made it a little easier for your husband to escape here because they have this elasticity. They've probably been watching my videos and they know I always say with that little metal lock, you can lock your kids in the shower. Now they can get out. So you have to find a different place to put them. Uh, just kidding. 35 inch radius shower, great place to take a shower. As you'll note there, that faucet does have uh, the new handle that will not turn off when you sit on that shelf if you lean back while you're shaving your legs, uh, which is cool. Uh, tons of storage again throughout this coach. Nice place to keep your cleaning supplies. And then I love this uh, beautiful new light colored countertop. So this is the gray mist interior and this used to come with a really dark gray countertop. So you'll notice that this is located throughout the coach and just little details like not having any kind of lip here and having it be a smooth surface all the way through make this a very easy coach to maintain. Um, also you'll note that this porcelain potty is just a nice feature when you get into these higher end um, you know, coaches not only do you get things like hydronic heat and 8 kilowatt generator, an 8.9 liter ISL uh, Cummins engine on a Freightliner chassis, uh, the M2106 but you also get things like the porcelain toilet and these really nice high polished single surface countertops. Of course, great appliances, fantastic fans with a rain sensor. You get a really nice cushioned uh, ceiling as well. So I know a lot of people are interested in that. And then also these really durable and thick pocket doors. So one of the things I can say about Renegade that really separates them from the competition is the manufacturing quality that goes into the coach and also the simplicity. So things like these little simple latches are just really nice. They're not complicated. They work really well. They keep things in place. Also, you'll note that we have two 110 outlets here, a USB, and then starting in 2023, we also have a type C outlet on both sides. There are nightstands on either side of this bed. Uh, there's also a lot of storage up above, and these are great hinged storage areas with reading lights. Uh, there's a control panel here that you can use. It's removable. You can just use it to push a button. But to be honest with you, with the Firefly system being available on your phone and with the likelihood that your phone's plugged in next to your bed, really good chance that you're just going to use your app to control your coach while you're in it. Um, it just makes everything so much simpler. Uh, these wardrobes are fantastic. Lots of storage room. Um, I do mention in a lot of my videos, I think I'm up to 170 Super C videos. So if you haven't seen them all, uh, just get some popcorn and tune in. 
Um, but I love to talk about how this is removable. So for those of you that are bringing things like wetsuits or any kind of snow bibs, it's a great place to be able to store your goods. And you also have really large drawer storage here in this coach. And of course, full extension drawers, all soft clothes, all very high end, nice cabinetry. Uh, here's your Sony Blu-ray player. Um, of course, that goes to your Samsung television, which is a smart TV. Great dresser here. MCD day shade, as well as uh, night shade. Oh, it's on the top here. Um, I love the way that they've done this nice gray. It actually ties in really well to the balances. Of course, you've got that race car theme. Um, as we know, Renegade has been known for their brute strength and great welding, all of their fantastic craftsmanship when it comes to building their coaches. And you'll find a lot of these track side, whether it be for horses or race cars. Uh, because they have 150 gallons of fresh water, so these are two 75 gallon tanks. This is also where you would be able to winterize your coach, very easy access. Um, and a 75 gallon gray water tank and a 75 gallon black water tank with heat strips and hydronic heat with a thermostat in those bays. Um, of course, giving you all of the things that you need to be able to go boondocking or be comfortable campsite. Uh, so this coach does have hydronic heat. It is an all electric coach. So you could plug this in to 50 amp and run uh, both of your air conditioning uh, units. You've got heat pumps as well as 15,000 B2 ACs on top of this RV. And then on top of that, you have hydronic heat, which is running a tube of antifreeze through your tankless hot water heater underneath your coach. Uh, that air then can be pushed that, or that air can be pushed then over that uh, tube of hot liquid. And when you push that air over the tube of hot liquid, it warms your coach and also the bays in your storage compartment. So those basement compartments are kept warm uh, by your hydronic heat. Uh, and then your coach can be kept warm by your hydronic heat. And it's a lot quieter uh, than the heat pumps are. Also, uh, the nice feature with that is it can be run off of either 50 amp or your diesel burner. So if you've got a full tank of fuel, you've got a 100 gallon fuel tank here, two saddle tanks with dual fill capacity. You can actually just go ahead and fill those saddle tanks with diesel, pull up to wherever you're staying, and the only thing that's going to make you go home is when you run out of gray water. And for me, with my long hair, that goes pretty quick. Um, so I do like this system here in the VRB. You'll note that we have a dual uh, close. So there's a little magnet here and here that keep these doors shut, but they both come out to the middle and meet. And that just gives the, uh, the flexibility of having a wider uh, entry point here, as you can see. And then right at that entry point here in the mid of this coach, these, uh, these doors both fully extend. And you'll see here we have the optional Splendid washer and dryer. One of the nice features about this, of course, is that it's on a second platform. They're not stacked, so they're super sturdy. And you can see how they're actually tethered into place. Very, very uh, you know, nicely done. Of course, again, brute strength. If you haven't been to Napanee um, and to Elkhart to see both Freightline or to see both Renegade and Numar, I can't recommend it more. Uh, the prowess that they have of manufacturing will certainly uh, impress you. And one of the nice things about this unit is that because of the way that this is located, you actually would have access, even with your rear slide in, to be able to do laundry, put it on the bed while you're driving, and you can move from the washer to the dryer. Um, in my coach, I actually have to put the slide out to get the wash out from the washer into the dryer, so it means pulling over to the side of the road. Um, of course, we're not going to open our slides where we're going down the freeway unless we really want to freak some people out, especially the guy driving, right? <laughs> Anyhow, so big uh, storage here and your mid bath. Again, this is the VRB, so this is a bath and a half model. Um, one of the things that you'll really love about this RV uh, isn't just the storage, the fantastic fan, the nice wallpaper, the attention to detail, the window that opens, but this big space for your mid bath. This is a really big master uh, or mid bath. So if you're a big dude and this is where you get to um, call your office, this is a great office for you. Lots and lots of room here, lots of storage underneath. Again, that same uh, concept here with just having something where it's just easier to maintain and keep clean. Uh, Renegade just does a fantastic job at building a very high quality coach. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and show you here one of the nice benefits of this coach as well. If you are one of those that likes to have uh, an Instapot or a rice cooker, any of those things, lots of cabinet storage here for a coffee maker as well. A lot of other manufacturers really do struggle 
uh, with the ability to give you open shelving like this that's so deep for those bigger components. So if you're looking to be on the road a little bit longer and you want to have those, uh, those accoutrements that you would have for home, you have those. And then here we've got a really great feature. Um, so above the fireplace and the television, you have this great dry storage. This is such a nice place for, gla for glassware. Um, you know, I had a 36 VSB. I currently drive a Superstar. They're both fantastic coaches. Uh, you will not get me to say a bad thing about either one of these manufacturers. They're just different. Uh, this is much more of a motor, co a motor uh, cabin over a motor home. If you're looking for that blend between a Class A and a Super C, then you might look at the Numar segment. But if you're looking for something that's super durable, ultra well made and more camp feeling, this feels more cabin-like in my opinion. Um, I love this big Samsung television. The sound bar is um, also Samsung fantastic. Just sync it right to Wi-Fi. Great little place to put up some decorations, maybe a few books. Of course, you can see I've got this fireplace on. So another form of heat uh, that's very quiet. This certainly is putting out some warmth for us right now. We're in between um, 70 degrees and snow. So uh, Tim and Lisa, when you guys get here, make sure you bring your uh, bathing suit and your parka because you never know in Colorado. That's just how we roll, um, which is why this is such a fantastic unit. This unit is gonna do really well at the colder temperatures because of the fact that it's all electric with hydronic heat. So we really like that aspect of it. Um, up here you'll find this is a great storage location. I love this for not only baking trays, but we keep some big, uh, big plastic bins up here where we can keep all of our, uh, our dry goods, like our breads and our buns and things like that for camping in a nice plastic container away from the mouse. I had a mouse in my Superstar, so I stopped putting my bread underneath the bins in my, uh, my table because they could smell it when the slides were open. And yeah, he got in there and we finally got him out, but it was like kind of a, it was a big, it was a big thing to get that little mouse out of my RV. <laughs> so um, I also have, a, I've got a list of like really cool uh, natural uh, deterrents for mice, just so you know. Oh, I took the ice maker out because it had winterizer in it and then I didn't put it back in. So there's some winterizer. Uh, this coach is winterized. There's a great storage tray down here. Uh, you can get a Dometic uh, ice and refrigerator, or I'm sorry, freezer and refrigerator unit if you like um, out for outside, but really I like to use the inside storage for all of your uh, frozen goods and then just an old fashioned cooler with some ice for outside. If that's not your style and you want to have a Dometic outside there on the slide tray, we can always install one of those for you. Uh, so this is 12 feet of unadulterated, holy crap, super solid, beautiful, very functional storage. One of the best attributes of the Verona for sure. This is a place where you can take those shoe boxes, label them from A to Z, put batteries in the B column, put outdoor kitchen in the O column, you know, and then instead of having to figure out where things should be together, you can just go by alphabet, A through Z, super simple uh, loading, and really easy to find for, for your guests, for people who aren't familiar with how your brain works. Um, so great storage place here, I love this. What's underneath it? Not a whole lot, but man, you could, you could totally hide something there. It's not designed to look pretty, um, but it, what a great location to put like, I don't even know, like extra pillows, things like that. Like, I don't know, that's just cool space. Um, cup holders, of course, really nice armrests. Um, this furniture coming from 22 to 23 is more poofy and more comfortable. So um, I've always been a big fan of Renegade and their simplicity their durability. We haven't lost that in this new furniture, but the gray mist furniture now um, has got that same nice dark palette to it. So it's going to be easy to maintain with this lighter color um, Corian. And so it's just beautiful. And they've given us like these little storage spots on either side of the um, arm on either side of the armrest, which is just super cool. Um, also, of course, as mentioned, two 110 outlets, another USB-C and USB port. You've got opening windows here, also behind us. Uh, the way that these open is really nice because they just pop out. So if you are in a place where it's raining, uh, the water will just go down on the outside of them. You don't actually have to worry about them um, being open sideways and having the water blow in. And then you'll note behind here, we also still do have our seat belts. I don't know if you can get back there, Jody, just to show. So one of the things that was mentioned to me uh, yesterday by a client is that they really valued lots of uh, kitchen space 
So I wanted to make mention, this is a huge kitchen space. If you're looking for measurements, I just did a 40 VBH with measurements. I'm more than happy to do that. You'll find I do it probably every six or seven videos, I'll get out the measuring tape and really go through them. Uh, so they're down, uh, they're, they're out there. I've got, like I said, 160 Super C videos. Uh, if you go to RVs Inside Out, it's hashtag RVs Inside Out at YouTube. Go find that one. You can you know figure out what measurements are. I do measure all this stuff pretty regularly though. Um, so up here we have, uh, again, another USB uh, player and then a place where you can put your Sony PlayStation, whatever it is that you might be into. All of that ties into that nice television. Um, I love this setup because you've got tons of room for all of your dishes and plates, much more residential than a lot of the RVs out there on the market in terms of it's just very generic square storage. Um, and then this is a great place to keep, like if you've got a puppy or a, you know, if you've got a kitty cat, you wanna keep your pet food up here, but even more so like bug spray, leashes, any of the things that you know, flashlights, stuff you might need when you're grabbing, when you're grabbing and going out the door. Um, and then one of the most important features of this coach, I feel, is that you have your whole entire kitchen area here. And then here you have your booth dinette and your theater seating. So for me, I'm gonna pull that TV off the wall and angle it more towards us during dinner. We'll probably both sit here um, after we get done eating and watch the news, maybe catch up on the day's events. Maybe Jason will sit down and read a book, but I love having all of the living space, not opposing. So we talk a lot about opposing couches, single side, different types of layouts. There's a bunch of stuff to consider. And one of the things I tell people to consider is that when you're in a coach and you all wanna sit down and watch a movie, these two, these two chairs pivot so I can pop that TV off the wall. I've got two chairs here, I've got two here, I've got another two here. So here I can really sit very comfortably facing the, tw the television six folks. Um, we're not in our RV when we're hanging out socializing. When we need to be in opposing positions, we're around the campfire. When we're inside, it's probably raining and we're probably watching Stranger Things. So just food for thought, things to think through. Um, this booth does convert into a bed as well. Uh, keep in mind, this is a VRB. So this is a bath and a half model and it's in the aero cab. So there's no bunk over cab. Uh, you see that in the majority of the Veronas that are coming out in 2022 and 2023. So after that option was availed, we, we built almost everything that we had with that bunk over cab. This coach does not have that. So the extra living space would be relegated to this area, but you have a huge dining area here or a living room here. You could really very easily put in an inflatable mattress. And I always tell people, you don't need an articulating bed to be comfortable. If you've got two littles that wanna go camping with you, they're probably gonna love being in a tent unless it's raining. And if it's raining, just putting your air mattress down here makes it a lot easier to clean up in the morning because all you have to do is pick them up and throw them on the bed, leave those, uh, those sleeping bags and pillows on them, and then when they're, it's time to go to bed at night, you just pull them right back out. So uh, if you need an articulating bed, this is probably not the model for you, um, but it does come with a couch and then you would actually get a queen size bed with it. So those are options that we certainly have. Um, so again, just a ton of storage space. Um, and as you can see, you've got remotes for all of your televisions, all of your Blu-ray players, your TV, your sound bars, your fireplace. Uh, you've got your filter here. Um, really, really nice, you know, oh, sorry, extra paint is another feature. This is a Skyline exterior, um, but just really nice setup with Renegade. They're very simple. It's not, you know, a bunch of pomp and circumstance, but everything that you need there is at the touch of a fingertip. Um, so here you're gonna see that we have our breaker panels. And I always tell everybody I don't pull this cover off where the fuses are because every time I do it falls off the next time I open the cabinet. Um, but here you also have your Renegade contracts for customer service and the parts department. Also, you've got your roadside assistance benefits. Um, I would recommend that you buy your RV from us here at Trans West because if you do and you have a question like, why can't I open my refrigerator? Well, because your latch is red, you have to make it blue. You call Bill Habercorn. He knows the answer to every single question. If you call him and ask him why you can't open your refrigerator, he might chortle a little bit, but he'll still be really nice and answer your questions. Okay, so I know we talked about this, but there's that extra storage compartment. And I mean, if you want to just be able to see like how deep that is, that maybe gives you some better perspective just to see how far down that phone is. Um, so this is a really good deep storage, great place to cut, put a cocktail while you're watching TV. Uh, you'll note that we have different sconces on our wall for 
our wall lights this year. The same overhead with this really beautiful frosted glass, but as always, Renegade keeps it classy, keeps it nice. Um, you know, they just do a great job. Even their redo on this tile here is just really beautiful. Um, I love the way they've done the herringbone on that. You know, it's just a great backsplash. Um, I had a 2020 and I was kind of disappointed with last year's uh, backsplashes. They were a little bit plain, so I was happy to see them dress this up. Uh, the High Point Microwave lives to see another year. We've had this in for years. For those of you who think it's changed, it has not. It's a microwave and induction cooktop. Our true induction is fantastic. If you would like to know my number one reason for liking it, it's the speed at which you can cook and the accuracy. So depending on your elevation, you're not gonna have more or less flame. You're gonna have the same consistent power coming to you, but the speed is just incredible. So if you're making, uh, we do French press coffee. If you're making a French press, you can boil water in half the time and you could do it with a paper towel on top of this because it is not a coil under uh, ceramic stove. It's actually a magnetic uh, stove and it's very much a fire safety feature. Um, and then here, of course, we've got our big single basin undermount sink with our residential faucet head with both spray and pour, standard kitchen window. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about the Vega Touch Mira app. And the reason we're gonna talk about that is because this app is really what allows you to do everything that you're going to want to do while you're camping. So you go there, you log in, and then it looks like this. So you can see, like, I can turn off all my lights. I can turn on all my lights. I can set up what my master looks like by choosing what I want for everything that I have here. As I mentioned, you probably will not um, end up using your, uh, you probably will not end up using, how do I get out of it, Jody? Oh my God. Um, your uh, anything except for your uh, your Vega Touch when you're in your Mira app because it works so well except for when you can't get out of it there we go here we are there we are sorry so see that little uh, little uh, triangle down there that is the that is the gateway into the world um, but you can see here I could even go for instance here's home screen and then oops water pump I can turn my water pump on turn my water pump off, I can turn my tank heat on, I can turn on my aqua hot burner, I can see all of my lithium ion batteries. Um, so all of that here, I can adjust my climate control uh, for the front, the rear, my bay control, I can see the temperature down there as well, turn my aqua hot burner on, so if I want to turn that on. All of this stuff is just super, super cool, and I can do things like I could stop my generator and turn that off. Um, which is really nice because I can start my generator from the front seat of my car or my RV, turn on my AC for my rear unit if it's hot without ever having to get up or out of my RV so, or out of my seat. So all of this stuff is super cool. Uh, we are going to go ahead and bring our slides in right now. So we're going to go ahead and do the, the rear slide and I'm going to push and hold the retract button. And then you can see, so why is this important? Um, so being able to retract and extend your slides with your app means not only can you do this um, while you're inside of your coach, but when you get to wherever it is that you're arriving at night and you're not sure whether or not you're too close to that tree, you can actually do that from the outside of your coach as well. Um, now we are gonna go ahead and bring this in right now off of our app. And the reason I wanna do this is I wanna show you the walking room. So there's a lot of things to consider in the Super C segment. Um, certainly, you know, Numar and Renegade are gonna be two of your very best top producers, especially at a reasonably priced segment um, where you can get that 8.9 liter Cummins with 1,150 foot-pounds of torque, a 20,000 pound towing capacity. Um, so all of those nice features at a reasonable price point. But for some people, like my superstar wouldn't work because they might have a big dog. Maybe you've got a bum knee and you just need the walking area. Renegade is fantastic when it comes to be giving you access to everything while you're walking through. This is with this coach fully pulled in. So I have full access to the bathroom. I have full access to my washer and dryer. I can take my laundry out of my dryer, take it, fold it, put it up here on the bed. I mean, it is really just quite amazing how much space you have while you're going down the road with your slides all the way in on your Renegade. So certainly something worth uh, considering, just depending on what you're looking for. If you'd like me to FaceTime you, um, 
so we can go through with slides closed and open on other coaches so you can do comparisons before you come in to visit us. I'm happy to do so. Um, one of the benefits of not having the bunk over cab, of course, it's a little more quiet, right? There's no, um, there's no seam down below. Um, but also, you've got a lot of extra storage. Um, so just depends on what's right for your lifestyle. I'm not one that would be uh, ever going up into a bunk to get down at night. It just, I wouldn't want to go down in the dark, honestly. But if you've got littles that are seven or eight, maybe my 14 year old wouldn't go up there. She'd want to have her own privacy in our bunks because she would like to be in a separate compartment where she can sleep in. Um, that's pretty, the bunks are um, nice and closed off where the over cab is going to be something better for a younger and more agreeable child than a 14 year old. Hi, Stella. Um, anyway, uh, so <laughs> you've got armrests on both sides of these chairs. These are air rides. So they do uh, they do go up and down. Um, they are super cushy. I always have my feet up on the dash. I always have my little phone up here so I can grab it and take a picture out the window. Um, my biggest complaint, of course, has always been the same. There is no place to do your lip gloss in this coach. You have your, your mobile eye unit, your Wabco sensors, all these things are up here, but there's no place for lip gloss, which is really annoying to me. Um, but that's okay, we'll get past it. Um, okay, so Wabco, that's gonna be your distance-based cruise control. It's gonna tell you if you're too close to somebody. Um, you've got high and low engine brake, this turns it on. If it's not on, it won't work. So if you ever call me and say, hey, my engine brake's not working, just flip the switch up like that. But anyway, lane alert. Um, do I have keys in here? Yeah, let's turn this bad boy on. So. Okay, so you'll see all these needles are gonna pop over. You'll see our little glowy engine is gonna stay on for just a few seconds. After that turns off, then I'll turn over my engine. I wanna wait though to do that. Just, just give it a few seconds. There we go. Pop this on. Here's your Allison transmission. Um, oh, did you hear that fart sound? That's your lane tracking package. Uh, your Garmin is removable. Uh, so that's cool. You've got all the controls there even when you're holding it and it's just charging when it's there. Uh, you also do have, like, if you wanna see, like you have a little ports here, um, which is cool. Uh, this is also your rear view camera display. Um, you've got tire pressure monitoring system here, docking lights, uh, trailer camera, which is an optional thing. So you, if you don't have a trailer, of course you don't need that, but it's there, which is cool. Um, and then regular climate control here, ashtray, cause why not? Uh, power windows, power locks, heated mirrors, really nice feature fog lamps, locking diff if you're in a place where you need a little extra traction. And then you've got your cruise control settings over here. You've got your lights, increase and decrease your speed on your cruise control. You've got your uh, windshield wash or windshield wipers right here. Power mirror controls right here. Um, and one of the things that's really nice, this does come with a brake controller integrated into your coach. I had to install my own. That's right, boys. I did it. I installed my own brake controller. Um, hey, Avin. He's in the van. Ready? <laughs> I know he's so annoyed right now. I do that every time. But you know what? It's important to know that it doesn't have a ninny horn. Um, one of the things that's really nice about this coach, of course, is that you can get in and out very easily from both sides as well as in the rear. So you've got three exit points on this RV. And then this little bad boy here is just to change your pitch of your steering column so it's easy to get in and out of. Um, but overall, fantastic execution of RV by Renegade. Um, if you're in the market for something, you know, where you can get your Cobra walkie-talkie on and like feel like a trucker, this is definitely the unit for you. Um, so we have a few different Renegades that are offered in the Verona. We have a Verona LE, which is a luxury edition. They've got their own set of floor plans, but the Verona itself comes in a 40-foot uh, VRB, which is what we're in today. It comes in a bunk model, a VBH, and it comes in a 36 VSB, which is the mid-bath model. That's what I had. I've got a lot of positive things to say about all of them, and I'm also more than happy to walk, kind of walk through the reasons um, that I like and dislike different floor plans. And, you know, they're not, they're not important to me. They're important to you, but I can give you some feedback from what I have just in the experience of having, you know, a number of these different manufacturers, because I do think... Um, there are certainly a lot of things to think through on this. Um, okay, so your little handrails are nice here. As you can see, this is just one of those vents for your hydronic heat. Nice little, you know, courtesy lights down below, fire extinguisher. Here's your leveling system, very easy to access. Um, and then 
I have the step override on right now, and then my battery disconnect is here, so I just push, push this little button. My house is turned off. My chassis disconnect is gonna be underneath the front driver's seat. Um, on our way out, we're gonna take a look at underneath the steps here because we do have a great place to put your flip floss and hiking shoes. Um, it's really deep, lots of room. So that's just a great place to put stuff. Um, and then go ahead and get the mosquitoes out. You know, you can close your little screen door right here. Puppies can get the fresh air without getting out the, do out the door. Uh, this will operate and uh, operate your uh, steps this year. So they have a little magnet on there that tells you when your screen door is closed. So you can leave your door closed and have your steps retract without having your main door closed. Also want to point out that there are, uh, you know, nightshades throughout the coach. Uh, but there also are, uh, there's also a shade here as well. So when you put those curtains around the outside, you put the shade down, you pull all your MCD shades, you can make this a very comfortable coach to sleep in for other people. Um, I would like to mention, um, I have some Mylar based shades that I actually use a suction cup for the side windows. And then I put in under the visors for my, uh, for my RV. And I think that they work a lot better than just the curtain. Uh, the curtain is nice. Uh, we don't use it as often as we'll use those Mylar shades. The Mylar just reflects that heat right off of the windshield before it has a chance to get into the cabin. Um, so they're both cool. Um, if we're staying for a while, we'll set up both. If we're staying for a short throw of time, we'll probably just put up the Mylar. Um, one of the things I really like about Renegade uh, versus some of our other manufacturers that we carry here at TransWest, uh, by the way, this is a Super C Center. If you are in the Super C market, uh, this is the place to be, but I love the way this step is. I love just the, it's it's grippy. It's, you know, you know you're going to get in safely. It's not going to look all, you know, worn out after a few years because it's just made out of metal. It's not made out of grip tape. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, very easy to get in and out. Lots of great points here. Here's your heated seat control. Your swivels right here. Your air ride buttons on the, on, on the left-hand side of both seats. And then another uh, point of entry handle. So very easy to get up and down. Of course, these trucks are made for people who drive a lot of miles and aren't always in the best physical condition. Uh, so they will be easy for you to get in and out of for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and extend maybe our awning. Um, so again, where does this come in handy? So both for your slides, but also your awning. You might just have a tree that's a little bit close. Maybe you don't want to put your awning the whole way out, but you can get some shade out of it. It's really nice to be able to do this from the exterior of your coach. So it's really funny. When I bought my Renegade, no one here told me about the Firefly app. Now, granted, I did start working here before I actually physically took delivery, but man, what a selling feature. Uh, what a differentiation between those two brands. You know, being able to put your slides in and out with Firefly is super, super cool. Definitely one of the reasons that you might consider getting a Renegade over a Numar. Um, you know, so there, there are pluses and minuses to both of these, as I mentioned. Go ahead and get that all the way out. So as you can see, lots of shade offered here. Nice little living room. And very oftentimes uh, when we would be camping, we'd go ahead and get our lights set up. We'd have our TV out. Um, maybe playing, not oftentimes watching movies outside, more so, most, more so like music videos. It's like watching one of those stations hanging out, listening to, you know, Jimi Hendrix, Led Zeppelin. I don't know, those things just make me feel like camping. Um, but just really cool, sitting fireside. Uh, this hose is gonna give you enough length so that you can fill up all of your tires, all six of your big 22 and a half inch, uh, you know, fire or Bridgestone uh, tires. Uh, these, these tires, I mean, when you talk about this, it's become kind of an industry standard. And we might take it for granted, but honestly, you know, having this Alco Alcoa wheel set with this nice aluminum tire gives you first and foremost uh, better uh, heat and vibration control, also sound control as well. Um, but you know, we've we've really come to take this for granted. The ride quality on these uh, on these uh, Super Cs is fantastic. So going down the freeway, you know, that's why you don't see people driving Class A's. You see them driving these semi trucks because track and straight, man, these things are just a pleasure to drive. So if you are a long distance driver, I really encourage you to consider this product. Um, certainly, the turning radius is better on something with a tag axle. So um, if you're you know looking at a twin screw Super C. Tight spaces might not exactly be the easiest 
a fit for you. Um, as I mentioned, there's a lot of pluses and minuses to camping in an RV, and I'm more than happy to kind of walk you through all the things that you should consider before making a big purchase decision like this. Uh, last week, I measured all of these bays, so if you're curious about how deep that is, uh, just go back to Monday, and you'll find that um, that 40 VBH video has a lot of these under cabinet me uh, or under these uh, under basement measurements. Uh, today's paint color is called Skyline. It's a beautiful color. We did ingot last week. There's also something called gold, uh, Coastline, which is more of a gold undertone. Um, and then somebody told me yesterday that they didn't like the butt on the classic, and I was like, I never noticed. But so a fiberglass end cap is certainly a nice feature to have. And this is a two piece unit. So if you have bumper damage, uh, it's really great because you can just replace this lower portion and not the entire end cap. Uh, but the classic is really, it's a big, it's not, it's, it's not a you know, beautiful, you know, molded fiberglass end cap like you see here on the Rona. So I guess I found something else I need to pay attention to. I had never looked at the butt of an RV like that before. So thank you <laughs> for the feedback. Um, of course, LED lights throughout the rear here. As mentioned, you know, this is a flippable, um, you know, uh, hitch. hitch. Uh, this is a three inch. You will need a downsizer for a lot of things. Voyager camera connection. We talked about that up front. Seven pin connector here. Um, all this stuff comes standard. And, you know, there's your overhead rear camera. That camera will give you not only just a rear view backing up where you've got more of a panoramic view, but also one down showing you where you're going to turn your hitch on. And then here you've got a 36 foot power cord on a power reel, as well as a, a reducer to 30 amp. You can run one air conditioner off of 30 amp, two off of 50. And make sure you put this cover on before you head down the road, because uh, after you bring your uh, power cord in, if you don't have that cover on, sometimes the power cord will start to kind of like dip as it hits bumps. And uh, we found ours like hanging out down below in Lyman. And uh, it still worked, but uh, it was definitely skinnier than before. Here's that eight kilowatt quiet diesel generator by Onan. Um, of course, more than enough juice to power everything that you need. Although this coach does have the also uh, three optional solar panels on top. Um, when we have a Numar Superstar come in, oftentimes I'm installing panels here because Numar does uh, four 110 watt panels. Uh, we actually install the panels that we have here on top of this Renegade onto anything that we install here at the store because they're 175 watt panels by Zamp. They're really great and it's actually a lot less expen expensive to have them installed by Renegade in your build. Um, all of these coaches that you see these days coming through are special orders. So um, very rarely do we have a coach that doesn't have a name on it when it's constructed. Um, this client chose to have the lithium ion battery pack. They also chose to have the, the solar panels. You can, of course could pick out the things that are important to you. Um, I love the way that this is carved in with a water jet. So your gray tank and black tank dump will always be identifiable, right? You'll always be able to see what they say because it's not paint. It's not going to wear off. Uh, the sea level is a new tank monitoring system for us. Um, a lot of people that are in this industry, you'll see, had converted their Renegades to this actual monitoring system. So now instead of having to go to sea level after the fact because your tank level monitors never told you within more, never told you when you had more than 66 percent of your water fill. Uh, true story, you'd have to like lift up the bed and look at it. Uh, the sea level system is what people were going to. So Renegade listens, they take that into account and they went ahead and installed that as part of their manufactured production starting in 2023. Um, just keep in mind these like dual latches, just super thick construction are just fantastic. You know, things like a whole house monitoring or a whole house water filter, you know, you, you kind of find a standard across the door or across the door, across the industry. But like these nice latch systems um, and you know, all of your, uh, all of your tank monitoring so you know what your temperatures are. These are luxuries that you really get uh, when you get to these higher line coach coaches. Another thing I really like is the way that these doors open sideways as opposed to up. Um, now this is your Aquahot 250D. This is a third generation Aquahot unit. So for those of you that are out there in the world looking at uh, your videos, reading customer reviews, Aquahot 250Ds have been historically 
uh, somewhat troublesome. Uh, mine certainly was, I needed to replace my, uh, I, my thermostats, both of them. Um, and I was, in, I was actually up in uh, Shipshawana visiting Renegade and I lost my hot water. <laughs> and I had to go to the factory for a tour, so I had to have someone come out and fix it for me. Um, all of that being said, the third generation seems to have been a lot uh, more thought through and seems to be a lot more reliable. So we'll keep tuned on that one, but do note that that's a pretty big improvement on this coach. Not something that you'd really be able to notice unless you, um, well, unless someone told you like me which is why you call us here at TransWest because we do a lot of super seas. Uh, this is a great place for that Outlander fire pit that I always talk about or a propane tank. Uh, since there's no propane on this unit, you probably will want to have a few tanks, um, but I like that. The reason you have so much room here is because we only have three batteries underneath. These are 100 amp hour lithium ion batteries, quick charging, and then our Zamboni system is something that we came in with. Um, oh, and then chassis on the left, just regular AGMs there, just so you know. Um, but the Zamboni system is going to be what allows the solar to talk to the coach, uh, to allow the lithium to talk to the coach, and it's really been a big solution. Uh, when we started off in 2022, lithium ion batteries were a little bit rough for us. We had some issues with them feeling like they were over full and shutting systems down. Uh, we've really got it down to a science now, and it's really well integrated with that Firefly app. So for those of you you know, reading reviews, asking questions, feel free to reach out to me. I put a lot of these coaches on the road. Uh, this one's going out on Friday. The one that I did last Monday, I already left last Friday. Um, so I've got a lot of, uh, not just uh, experience on my own, but a lot of clients with good feedback that I'm more than happy to kind of walk you through what to look at. Uh, here again is that second diesel fueling station, six gallon def tank over here as well. So one stop shopping, pull into a nice truck stop, get all your diesel in one place and your def. Again, here's your swivel. And then here is that on off switch we mentioned for the chassis. And then this is going to be where your air ride seat is. So that's your little control right there. So for those of you that can't find it, when you go out and test drive, that's where you'll find it. Um, there's, you can just take a look at the cockpit underneath. As you can see, super easy entry, um, great access point. This is going to be where you would plug in your uh, engine or block heater. Uh, this is your camera for being able to see on the left hand side. Of course, one comes on on the right hand side. Uh, this coach does not have the upgraded uh, Amish racing wheels. Uh, that is a nice feature, but it's good to see you know, the, ver the variance between them. Here underneath here, you can see that beautiful marriage of your 8.9 liter ISL Cummins uh, to the Freightliner chassis. Again, M2106 married to a uh, an engine in this coach boasting 360 horsepower, but more importantly, 1,150 foot-pounds of torque. Um, and here are your jump points for positive and negative down here. And then of course your air filter and water separator right here on the left. Check all your fluids, get into it underneath the hood here for a guy who wants to work on his own rig. Of course, this is one of the main reasons people consider a Super C. The other reason, of course, is going to be a little bit easier to get in some more of the rough, rough and tumble areas. And then, of course, the safety features of having the whole entire engine in front of you. Downside, you're losing about this much coach before you start your living quarters. So uh, there's certainly some reasons to consider a Class A versus a Super C. You want to walk through them and test drive them. I highly recommend before you make any determination as to which RV you like the best, you have had your butt in the seat of both because it's a big difference in the way that they drive. And honestly, you see a lot of both on the road, so it doesn't mean that one's right more than the other. Uh, so like I said, we have a lot of inventory here on the ground now. Uh, we've got a few used Renegades, like I've got a 2020 VSB, I've got a few used Superstars, I've got a few new Supreme Airs. Uh, this is a Super C Mecca, so please, if you've got any questions or I can help at all, give me a call. My name's Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Let me know how I can help you get on the road and camping. Thank you so much.